everyone, Ross here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video guys, I'm going to show you how to farm, prepare, refine, etc. Or everything you need to make new build materials to improve your house and to make new weapons and armor. So without further ado guys, if you do us a massive favor, please leave a like down below on the video. Make sure you do subscribe. Now what I'm talking about in this video of course guys, is when you go to the construction workbench and you've got your, tra your trade materials and stuff, you've got sheep material, clear brick, canvas, wool cloth, synthetic leather, red brick, cool dash brick. Now obviously these are a bit more advanced the higher up you go, but you've also, if you go to your workbench and you go to craft, you've got craft weapons, armor, etc. You've also got the trade goods on here, such as grease, wooden board, iron alloy, yarn, just, just all these different things you need to make armor and you know weapons and maybe it's not your drones but all this sort of thing so i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do for all these things so guys first of all you're going to need some raw materials so go out to the world go out to the wilderness find trees find ore find animals and find flax now trees obviously pretty self-explanatory any tree pretty much you can chop down and you can get raw materials from it as well as wood stones marked on the map by a stone block uh, flax is marked by a green leaf on the mini map they're quite a bit more difficult to find and literally pretty much any animal you can kill you can then skin to get tooth and hide and stuff like that so when you're chopping down trees you're killing animals and skinning them or you're, you're picking up flax plants or mining for stone you're going to get trade goods that appear like randomly in that so you've got raw materials here you can see in your inventory i've went ahead and got some from trees because i've already done this step for most me ovens but once you've got them you want to come back to your house and go to your raw material workbench and go to use that now this is for refining them so basically any sort of trade material you find in the wild you first have to refine it before you can use it you can see you've got a sort of a maximum amount of tries you can do it per sort of deer so there's a hundred and sorry 1400 for advanced raw materials which are blue ones and you've got 2800 per deer for the green ones now i'm just going to go to add all and press refine and this will automatically refine and add it to my backpack now once you've done all this and you've got them all refined and you've got enough stuff etc you can then go to your workbench click craft weapons or armor and go to your trade supplies again and you can see for instance if i wanted to make say this um, steel pipe knife. Now I've already got enough iron ore, I've got enough tattered animal hide, cedar bark and common flaxseed which you find from doing what I did earlier when going around. Once you've got all these you can go ahead and craft. Like so you get a quality chance at the top there, you've got 80% of blue, 15 purple. Really lucky there to get a purple on that one. But now as you can see I've got a new knife and I can go ahead and Press the run button a couple of times first, uh, equip that, so now I've got my nice new knife on as you can see. Looks quite nice doesn't it? And I'll just put that back on my back. Put it away, there we go. I don't want to do that. Whatever. Now I've got a new knife and blah blah. So, next guys we've got the build materials. Now these ones are a bit different. Now the construction workbench obviously you need the different things to make, for instance, fine dining table cabinets just anything on here basically as well as like different more advanced uh, building things so you've got the blue ones so these mainly need wood but then you get the things that need sheet material etc it keeps going up cement blah 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 now these things you can't craft you can't find in the wild thankfully guys i know exactly where to get them and i'm going to show you right now so first of all guys what you want to do is open up your map at the top right and you've got your sort of frequent locations etc on the right side here now you want to go to scenes hills if i've spelled that if I've said that wrong it's my fault anyway but you want to travel to raven shelter and click go so you fast travel to raven shelter this is the main hub of the game all the npcs are most of the sort of quests take place etc just basically where everybody hangs out so once you fast traveled here you want to go to a specific NPC. So guys, once you arrive in Raven Shelter, you appear next to the road sign here. You want to come over here to the, well, down the road. And you can see there's a couple of uh, people here. You've got the clothing store manager, you've got goods merchant, 
build material merchant Tony here you want to go to purchase material now he sells all the different things you need as add-ons for each little thing you need to make so if, for instance I need to make the sheet material I do need super glue now a little tip I'll suggest for this is don't buy how many you need buy too many you'll get plenty of silver so I usually buy like see if 50 of that solvent I'll probably need another 50 and that just make sure you've got plenty on you for when you need it so I know I'm not gonna need more than just probably them for now so that'll do for now once you've done that, go ahead, open your map, teleport back to your outpost homestead or your camp homestead. If you're in a camp by this time, you can just teleport straight there. It makes no difference. It's still your house. So go ahead and jump back to your house. And once you get back to your house here, guys, uh, for instance, I was doing this to upgrade my homestead. So if I go to my homestead management, I go to upgrade. You can see I need five clear bricks and 10 sheet materials. I've currently got four out of 10 and five. I'm not high enough level yet, but still. Now, if you go back to your materials workbench, which is over here, this one here, your construction workbench, sorry, you can now see that I've got the super glue required to make them so I can make, for instance, 10 of these, craft them, like so. Clear brick, I needed five, so I'll just, I didn't actually buy any clear. I brought the wrong one. I was meant to buy clear, but you get the idea. If I bought enough clear, I could then make five of these. I'm not level 15 yet, so I can't do it anyway. But, like I say, go back to Raven Shelter, go to Tony, the construction person. You can buy all the raw materials you need to make all the different trade goods from the construction workbench. And anything you need for the workbench to craft actual items like weapons and armor and stuff. You can go out in the wild, find the stuff, repair it. Uh, sorry, refine it, and then, of course, you can come back. Now, if you go to yarn, for instance, oh, don't craft. Yarn and stuff like that is in here. You can see you need iron ore, common flaxseed, flog flogopite, common flax fibers and stuff. These all, the, all need to be refined, whereas grease, you just need to get meat, which you can get from animals. So any animals will drop meat when you skin them. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel for more guides, gameplay, and live streams on and on. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.